Larry, you definitely have someone watching over you. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> Madam President, fellow Toastmasters, we had a very good speech presented to us tonight. Larry made me work to show you the things that I was already describing earlier. Larry, in particular, one of the things you did very well was you managed to make that emotional connection. Your eye contact was excellent. You weren't using notes. It was very easy to do that. But you were also pacing your speech in a way that was helping to lead us through the actual states that you seemed to want us to get through. You were doing all of that very well. I would like to make a suggestion, however, on your opening, because at that point you could make a much greater attention grabber. Since you started off with simply, hi, thank you, hello, welcome everyone, is someone watching over me? Throw away the fluff at first, because the best way to start a speech is to hit something immediately. If you wanted to start that way, then your starting, I would say, is, is someone watching over me? A little pause, and then, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, do your greeting after you've had the hook. That would be my suggestion for your opening. One thing I saw you do, which was something I'd not seen done before, I liked it, and never seen anyone do it before, your, your eye gesture was this. When you said I, at the point where you were describing, suddenly I was startled by the or came up with the question, and you were using this gesture for I, and most people use one hand or one hand inwards. This was very effective. I like the way the, that came across. Your other body movement, now you are hampered by the space we have available here, which is actually more than our club gets, but <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted to take this further and you had more room available, I'd say make that go further, and that would be like if the elbows out, arms out further, ways to just simply make the movements bigger, except for the car, which you should make smaller. <laughs> Your Contrast. There was one point where you went, when you were suddenly I was startled by a question. You had a little bit of contrast there, but this was supposed to be your revelation. Yeah. I would say do more. A little bit of a longer pause, and then overdo it suddenly. I was startled by a question. Change both the pace, significant contrast, voice pitch, and significant contrast. Contrast is what makes something stand out, and you want that to stand out. On the other hand, your language, <laughs> oh my goodness, most of the stuff I have written down is a lot of the words that we're saying, triads all over the place, dusty, hot and dirty, street yelling, crane, screaming, arguing, you had dark, dusty, and bumpy, and this was the how to say it project, you were saying all of it, great word choices with waft, torrent, explosive, pungent, and pandemonium. I'd have to say, you didn't have all short words, but you had great evocative words. And this was a wonderful demonstration of the English language. And I would have to say, though, you, since you want to go out doing something you love, I would have to say then for everyone now after today, that should be right after you've given that evaluation. <laughs> Wouldn't I? Thank you very much.